guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do another video another episode in the shopping our stash club that i'm doing with paula and mercedes last time we shopped for the pantone color of the year and mercedes joined in with this club and i'm really excited about it she is amazing and i started following her a few um, months ago and i just love her content so if you don't know paula or mercedes you should check them out they are linked down in description box as always it has just been valentine so we thought why not embrace that last year we did baby pink and now we are going to do hot pink i thought i had more than i just counted here i have five hot pinks in five palettes that's not a lot but i don't really mind because it's hot pink you you don't go through that a lot and i definitely prefer another color than hot pink so i'm i'm okay with only five <laughs> but yes we are going to shop our stash for hot pink and let's just get into it and i will swatch them on my hand i have a swatch for another video don't mind that it will be up by now i'm pretty sure so maybe i'm just going to swatch it on my other hand here the first shadow I'm going to show you is from my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, the Bright Palette, and it is the one that I have pan on, this one right here. I had this for my Panda Palette in the beginning of 2019, and then I chinked out and stopped that project. I kind of regret it now, because I actually think I would have made a lot of use out of that one, or the palette. So yes, this is the shade. It's not a very pigmented palette. So that is also why I was able to pan on it after a few months. So yes, that is the shade right there. Then we have my Weekend Festival palette from BS Cosmetics. And I am going to swatch Dibby, I think. That one right there, Dibby. So hard to do with your left hand when you are right-handed. <laughs> yeah, this is more pigmented and a little bit more dark. A little bit more warm toned as well, but it is there. Then we have the Too Faced Gingerbread Eyeshadow Palette right here. I duped this with shadows in my collection and I was quite successful. And I actually duped the NYX shade with the shade that I'm going to swatch here. I'm going to swatch Gumdrop. That is darker as well. But it is this one right here. When I duped the palette, I did. I haven't seen it in person. And I didn't know what the shades actually looked like. So it was just a guessing game from a picture. Oh, that's not very pigmented. Okay. A little bit more sheer. But a little bit darker as well. But very close actually to the next shade. Then we have the Life's a Drag palette from Luna Beauty. And I'm going to swatch what is called Kai Kai. That one right there. Obviously. <laughs> that is so bright. That is very close to the next one, but more creamy and pigmented. But yes, this is the next one. The last one is coming from my Zodiac palette, the Love Signs from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to swatch Aries, the matte one. This one right there. Um, yeah, let's just take a new finger. Oh, that is more red, but I take it as a pink. That one. That looks a little bit like the other BH Cosmetics one in the Weekend Festival palette. So if you have one of those palettes, you don't need to miss out on that shade, at least. It is the same. So these are my five hot pinks in my collection. So the most true hot pinks in my collection are definitely NYX and Luna Beauty. Um, so if you should be totally right, I only have two. But these are five shadows that I categorize as hot pinks in my collection. So I'm pretty excited it's not more. But these are going to take forever because they're really creamy and pigmented. Um, so yeah, the one that maybe go, will go fastest is the NYX one because it's not that pigmented. But on the eyes it actually is. It is something else to apply it than swatch it. But here they are. 
I'm excited. I'm excited to see all the hot pinks in Paula's and Mercedes collection. They have beautiful collections. Um, I have two though. I have a beautiful collection. I'm really excited about mine as well. But yeah, I'm excited to see their video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this series for this year as well. I hope you guys are going to follow along if you don't already. And subscribe down below if you're new here. I would love for you to stick around and become a part of my small family here on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed and on to my next one. Please take care. Bye. From me and my pink fingers.